testing the new mic out like <sighs> Sun's finally gone away, it started raining, it's windy as hell and my uterus hates me Let's go! Hi! Some of you already know that my name is Shelley and the rest of you that are just coming in, maybe, perchance, who knows Hi! I'm Shelley Sometimes prone to angry outbursts most of the time quite a chipper soul, but otherwise... <sighs> I wanted to talk about something that's been pissing me off a lot lately, which is basically bad drivers, because there's lots of them, and there's only going to be an increasing number because there's learners everywhere and they're eventually going to turn into drivers, and some of those are going to turn into bad drivers. Are you seeing where I'm going with this? I have a particular problem with specific types of bad drivers. I mean, you've got the slow ones where it's like the old person just... I can deal with, that's fine. Even the ones that take a long time to do three point turns. Kind of annoying, but at the same time, fuck it. I've got nowhere to be most of the time. Um, whatever, if I'm late for things, I'm late for things. I hate being late, but it's a sad fact of life. The ones that are accidentally bad drivers, I mean, I've done a fair few things in my lifetime where I've done dick moves just to get a parking space and haven't realised that there was somebody nearby that may have had right of way. <laughs> Sorry old lady from two weeks ago. Still! There are the ones that really get on my tits and those ones in particular are tailgaters and speeders. Yes, I know, I recently went to a speed awareness course and I know that I tend to or have done bad things in terms of speeding. Not that I do something ridiculous like 80 in a 30 zone or something, I'm not that much of an asshole, but you know, there are some that do, and those people really piss me off, because one day, I don't want to hope that you wrap your car around a tree, because death, and I don't want to wish death on anyone, even the people that piss me off, but my god, if all it does is like, you know, shake you up a little bit, and not kill anyone, or maim anyone, Maybe it'll do you some good. <laughs> but tailgaters are the ones that really get on my fucking wick because I can be happily going at the speed limit and everything is wonderful and then suddenly you get some sort of a-hole that's like probably half my age, let's be honest, up my ass. It's like, would you like to get in? Seriously, would you just want to get in my boot? I'll give you a fucking lift. How about that? Sometimes I want that, um... I, I forgot what it's called. You know that thing that scrolls words in the, in the back of your windscreen? I want one of those where it's just like me just going... You know, something simple or just that in general. I just don't, I don't like you. I don't like you. It's like, I'm sorry, I'm not holding you up for an important appointment down at the pub or with your friends down to smoke a joint at the riverside. I don't fucking know. I don't give a shit. I don't care. I'm trying to drive safely and not kill anyone. And you're the one that's up my ass because apparently safety isn't good enough. Hmm? <laughs> Mothering much? I, I don't. I can't deal with it. I hate them. I hate them all. And then you've got the bully boys that are in their giant 4x4s or whatever that's completely unnecessary for this city because, let's be honest, this city is a fucking city. It's not a country lane. There are no country lanes here. Not in Bristol. Unless you go to the back of beyond, like on the edges of it. Fair enough. But here we have roads. Not gravel pits. We don't need fucking 4x4s. But of course, you've got these guys, or women, let's not discriminate here, 
but mostly men that I've seen, always insisting on being like two inches away from my bumper. So if I have to do an emergency stop for whatever reason, my car's fucked because my car is half the fucking size of yours. It's like I want to send them a bloody card saying, oh, I'm sorry for your chode, but you have to overcompensate. I apologize for your tiny dick syndrome. I what? What is wrong with you? Why do you have to overcompensate? And those people with the loud exhaust pipes. What's that overcompensating for? I'm just saying. And while we're at it, please, for the love of God, don't put eyelashes on your headlights. I'm talking to you, Stacey. One final thing, why the fuck do people insist on playing their music so ridiculously loud that the people inside the car cannot possibly hear anything other than <laughs> but they insist on playing it so loud so everybody else can hear it as well. What do you think is going to happen? A flash dance? Fucking flash mobs just suddenly going to appear and start dancing to the music. Is that what's going to happen? You start in a mobile disco. What's going on? I don't want to dance to your music. It's shit. Nobody can dance to drum and bass without being like And I don't want to do that. I'm not a raver. So yeah, compared to those assholes, I salute you, the old person that has to be like right up to the windscreen. And the learner that takes half an hour to do a three point turn or a reverse around the corner. Fucking well done. At least you're not killing anyone. On a side note, I would like to remind people that I have posted on Twitter, Instagram, and my Facebook page. Yes, I have those now. Because I haven't had them for a while. About my video idea for next week. Basically, I want you to roast me, and I have got a few replies already, but unfortunately, they're all nice. <laughs> Because apparently my community are too nice and sweet and don't want to upset me. Trust me, you will not upset me. This is, as the song says, titanium. <laughs> Except for when it comes to actual physical contact then, not so much. But we'll gloss over that one. Mentally, I'm perfectly stable. So come at me, bruh. I can take it. I swear. Because I know it's all good fun and I know you don't actually mean it. I mean, some people might but we'll ignore those. <laughs> okay, thanks, bye.